Hi, I'm Sue from createwithsue.com and today we're going to look at some of the scanning features of your scan and cut. The scanning features include a scan to data and direct cut. Now direct cut is when it will cut. You scan and you directly cut on your mat straight away, whereas the scan to data will save it. But go to the scan icon on your machine and you can see that lined up here, direct cut, scan to data. So I'm choosing the direct cut and my machine. We have a couple of options. We could just start. We've got a scan area of 12 by 12, but if you go into the settings, you'll see there's recognition mode, black and white and color, and also a number of mat sizes that you can choose. I'm just gonna choose the 12 by 12. Today, if you have the ability to scan 12 by 24 and you've got the 24 inch mat in when you choose that. And I'm gonna go with color just to start with, just for this demonstration. If we go step, uh, start, and you'll see a message, uh, scanner lever is set to position two, and it wants it at position one. So we'll just go in and um, look at what it tells you. It gives you some instructions on how to change the scanner lever. Position two, only when scanning thicker material. And it's on the side of the machine. So you go and change that to one and click start scanning. I'm going to speed this video up because the scanning part takes a not long, but just a bit long for the actual video. And there you can see what I have on my screen. So reduce the size of the scan area to the actual area you want scanned. You can see it scanned the tape and the bits of mat and everything. So we've reduced that down and then off we go again. And it's just recognizing or focusing on the scanned area of the mat that I've reduced that little box around. Just use the arrow keys. And there's what you can, what's been scanned. Now already I can see this is not what I want. So it's scanned around the black lines that I've got, but also those little extra bits there. So we'll go okay. And there's a few ways you can tweak this to see if it scans any better. You can reduce the color. So we'll give that a preview and see if that's fix the issue of those extra areas that would cut. So those little blobs that we could see on the map would actually cut out. And three hasn't made a lot of difference. So we'll go right down to two and preview it again. And it'll just go off and refocus or readjust what it's seeing. And that's actually shocking because you can see it's going to cut there and there so we can try the other way it goes quite a fair way up and we'll preview it again and it's just re regaging what it's scanned basically and it still has those markings those extra cut areas on there you can see them down the bottom I don't really like that and it will cut those shapes out of the so we'll go okay and okay out of that and we can try a few other things in here and it'll just go okay because it's not any of those cross out of that and you can try this one which will smooth out some of the lines you can see it will smooth you can adjust that as well but we're going to back right out of this and we're going to go again because we can also choose, we'll just follow those same steps through again, we can also choose the black and white recognition and this will sometimes tweak it a little differently even though it's a colour uh, item that we're scanning. So I'm just going over the same procedures once again. Um, the black and white will sometimes give you a clearer scan. I'm not really sure why this is, but it does seem to give a clearer scan. So if you don't have a successful scan with the color, that's what I would recommend is to have a shot with the black and white. And once again, it's scanned. It actually looks a little bit clearer this time. And it will, it's scanned the whole mat. So you can see all those um, areas on the mat that it's which were just cut marks and that. We'll adjust it back to just what we want actually in the scanned area. 
just give it a bit clearer guide of, of what we want scanned. You can adjust the colour, see if that makes a difference. And it possibly won't in this one because I think it was actually a pretty good scan. And just put it back. But they're all um, areas that you can adjust if your scan's not quite how you turned out how you want it. So have a good look at what has been scanned before you actually start cutting it out. We'll just go OK. It's got the same features to smooth out lines if you have a bit of a line issue. It also has an offset. This one is an offset or an inset, whichever. You can go in or out. We'll just go out for a minute. And I don't know whether you can see it clearly, but it's added a little extra area on the outside. So it would, that black line that is around the border around the flashcards uh, would cut out with a line with a white area around it. The other one gives you a whole range of shapes. In this particular instance, we wouldn't use any of these, but we would just go and have a bit of a look at them. So that would give you a square one, a square box around it, a zigzag area. So depending on what you're cutting out, one of these might be quite good to, to work with. This one's really cute. It gives you a nice framed outline. Anyway, it's worth having a look at. And as I said, for this particular cut out, it's not quite what we want. That's okay. We, we will um, just have a bit of a look. There's also these other features in the edit. So you could trash it. That was the first thing. You might want to fill. So there's some fill settings in here to uh, put a fill pattern in. Then this one um, will give you an additional line. Maybe you are cutting something with a seam allowance. This might be a good one for a seam allowance and that. And this one will change it to a dot line. So it would cut it out. Might be good for, um, I'm not really sure what you would use it for, but perhaps a fold line or a feature. You could use it as a bit of a feature. So I was pretty happy with that. We've got change it to cut. Make sure your half cut is off if you're cutting card. And you can go to the tool section to fix that and do a test cut if you need to. I don't need to in this particular instance. And we're going to cut. Now I'm going to speed this up again because um, it's a minute that you don't need to sit and watch it um, <laughs> going through its motions there. So we'll just speed this up. And it's finished, there we go, go OK. And I'll just get it off the mat so you can see it. Just give me a second while I'm, there we go. And you can see it's even cut out the little pair of scissors on the edge there, which I'll just trim off uh, with a pair of scissors. And they won't even notice that. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that cut. Uh, I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, calibrating your scanner so that uh, if you have issues with it cutting a little bit off center, I did notice quickly when I was looking at that, that's a little tiny bit off the center. You can also cut, use that offset feature to cut inside that line. So that black line could be uh, removed from whatever you're cutting out and use it as just a, a, a guide so that the scan scanner can see what it's going to cut and then if you just cut inside it it'll be gone and you don't have to worry about seeing that line. As you can see it's done a pretty good job so I'm overall I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I will do a calibration on mine and do a tutorial on that as well. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, if you like this video please remember to subscribe and head over to my website createwithsue.com. I'll catch you next time. See ya.